So I just found something really cool. Check this out. All I can say is stay tuned for season three of the Weather Channel's Deep Water Salvage. What's up, guys? It's Ryan again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. Well, you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, if you can't tell, I am muddy. I'm wet. I am just plum nasty. And the reason is the sailboat that we just lifted, by the way, you're going to see that boat on a episode of Deepwater Salvage season three coming up. So definitely check it out on the weather channel. But this boat that we just raised up, we are cleaning it off and we're going to make it into a new dive site. A lot of you guys have been asking, what do you do with all these boats that you salvage? Well, if it's by the owner, we give it back to the owner. They're paying us to get it out. If it's for the insurance company, we get it out and we give it to the insurance company. If it's for us, meaning we're getting it out for uh, whatever reason it may be to get rid of hazmatic material or just to clean up the, the lake or something like that, then of course we get rid of it the best we can. If we can get it stripped down, just like we're gonna strip this one down, we can make it a fish habitat. We can make it a new dive spot for divers, things like that, but that's what we're doing. And all day today, been cleaning this boat out. Like I said, I am plum filthy. I'm nasty, I stink. But I promise you, there's a point to this video. I want to get to this video, the point real quick. I want to show you a couple of things that we got out of this boat. Who knows what this right here is? It's about a one inch diameter piece of styrofoam. Anybody want to take a guess? I'll give you three guesses on what this is. Your first two guesses don't count. That's a pool noodle. Yes, those big three to four inch diameter pool noodles that you get to swim in a pool with or whatnot. That's what the pressure of water could do. This boat's been down for about two years. It's been under the docks here. And after two years of being waterlogged, that's what can happen to it. Let me show you what else can happen. Who wants to take a guess what that is? That's right, it's a life jacket, right? That's what can happen when these life jackets deteriorate and they stay waterlogged. Whether your boat sinks or not, doesn't matter. If you leave them on a boat, they get wet. Maybe they're in a boat box or something that's not waterproof. They get wet. They're gonna deteriorate. The plastic's gonna wear down. They're just gonna fall apart. Even the styrofoam inside is gonna deteriorate. Check this out. Looks like it's still floating, right? And don't worry, I'm gonna get it out of the water. Looks like it's still floating. You put any weight whatsoever on that, it's just gonna go under. That life jacket obviously is useless at this point. And so is your life jacket. If you leave it on your boat, say more than four or five years and it gets wet, it gets exposed to the environment, it's not gonna be any good. So what's the point of this video? About every five years, you should be replacing the PFDs on your vessel. They do have a rating on them on how long they'll last. Kind of like a car seat, like a kid's car seat. But they got a rating on them. Sometimes that rating doesn't take into consideration the environmental conditions and what they get exposed to. So replace your life jackets about every five years. I don't care if you get the cheap $10 little orange ones that go around your neck, or if you got the really expensive neoprene top, whatever it is, you need to be replacing it. I mean, it's nothing really important. It's just your life. So replace your life jackets. But right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I wanted you to see what we do with some of the boats that we salvage. We clean them up. We do make them into fish habitats. We do make them in dive sites. Most of the time though, we don't get to keep them. They either go to the insurance company, if the insurance company's paying us to salvage it, or they go to the owner who is paying us to salvage. This one right here is actually gonna be ours. And so we're gonna get it cleaned out. We're gonna get all the wires out. Anything that could be detrimental to the environment, we're gonna get it out. 
First of all, it was already underwater, so it ain't gonna hurt it going back. But we're gonna make it into a fish habitat, make it a good place for fishermen to go out and fish, and make it a good place for our divers to go out and visit as well. Because I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please understand what I'm talking about. Take good care of your gear. It's gonna take good care of you. That even means taking good care of your life jackets. But every five years, toss them, get you some new ones. Both you and your passengers on your vessel will be greatly appreciated from it. But guys, if you liked today's video, if you understood the message, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. If you got any questions on the salvage work or anything like that, just drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it the best I can as quickly as I can as well. Stay tuned for season three, Deepwater Salvage. We got multiple episodes coming out this year that we filmed with them and hopefully we're going to have plenty more and who knows, maybe next year they'll even do season four as well. But guys, I'm tired. I'm nasty. Definitely need a bath. I stink. Not sure my wife's going to even uh, give me a hug when I get home. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off today. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.